Sarah Brady, the ex-girlfriend of actor Jonah Hill, has gone public about her experience dating the famous actor. In a series of Instagram stories, she claims he was narcissistic throughout the relationship and also shared screenshots of an alleged conversation the two had among multiple other messages. In an Instagram post, she wrote, This is a warning to all girls. If your partner is talking to you like this, make an exit plan. Call me if you need an ear. Showing text messages allegedly from Jonah Hill, asking her to take down any surfing photos from her Instagram with her ass in a bathing suit. After Sarah Brady said she deleted all the posts, the actor allegedly told her it was a good start, but she didn't seem to get his point. In a screenshot, he wrote, But it's not my place to teach you. I have made my boundaries clear. You refuse to let go of some of them, and you have made that clear, and I hope it makes you happy. In another screenshot, Sarah Brady shared a text message exchange allegedly between the former couple in which Jonah Hill reportedly said, If Sarah Brady wants to serve with men, to model, to post pictures of yourself in a bathing suit, and to post sexual pictures among other things, then he's not the right partner for her. In a follow-up post, she wrote, I too struggle with mental health, but I do not use it to control people like he did to me. She added, It's been a year of healing and growth with the help of loved ones and doctors to get back to living my life without guilt, shame, and self-judgment for things as small as surfing in a swimsuit rather than a more wetsuit. And I'm sure there's still much more healing from this abuse ahead of me. In another post, she wrote, Sharing this publicly now because keeping it to myself was causing more damage to my mental health than sharing it could ever do. Sarah Brady later shared a message for Jonah Hill, who welcomed the baby with girlfriend Olivia Miller earlier this year, writing, I hope my ex has a daughter. Maybe she will turn him into a real feminist. She continued, because the fact that he calls himself a feminist now is laughable. In another post, Sarah Brady wrote, If I could have one wish for him, it would be that he's surrounded by feminist men who can hold him accountable to grow in the ways he has expressed he wants to. I think fame can put people in an echo chamber of viewpoint, which can enable emotionally abusive behavior, she continued. In a final post, Sarah Brady wrote that being an emotionally abusive partner does not mean they are a terrible person, and said that it often stems from someone's own trauma. At the same time, it doesn't mean it's okay, she concluded. As you know, when some of these things become public, a lot of people have divided opinions. These are some of the things that people have to say. Take a listen. Someone tweeted, Jonah Hill and Kiki Palmer's baby daddy demonstrate clearly how they expect. Once a woman is in a relationship with them, she must be invisible to the world. It's control. Love is not compatible with control. Yeah, she chatting right now because according to what I read, that's not what he was trying to say. Another person also tweeted, Coming from a sex worker, I know this is going to be a hot take, but he is expressing his needs and boundaries in a situation. He is not leaving anything to be wanted or anything to ask. With this, he's saying what his standard is. Yeah, it may be toxic, but he's saying it is his standard for being in a relationship. I think that it's wrong to say that he's abusive when he's just protecting his peace. Like, would I date a guy that did this? No, but he's also telling her that he wants her to be happy with his own boundaries that he wants to keep. If she wants to do those things, they just can't be together. I don't really feel like this is a best example of abuse in a relationship. This is him communicating. Another person also tweeted, I am straight up not a Jonah Hill fan in any way, but there is nothing wrong with this list. If she doesn't like it, which she clearly didn't, she could end the relationship, which apparently she did. What's the problem? The same person also tweeted, Women ask men all the time not to talk to other women, not to hang out with their bad influence friends, but if a guy, Jonah Hill in this case, does it, is completely beyond the pale. Another person also tweeted, he literally told her what he looks for in a partner. Ain't nothing wrong with that. She's trying to flip the script on him. He was nice enough to tell her, I will support you, but we cannot be together if you do X, Y, and Z. Another person also tweeted, there is nothing abusive about this text. The only critique I have is these conversations should be done in person. He's setting the normal boundaries that a healthy relationship needs. W for Jonah Hill. Based on this text, obviously there could be more to the story. Another person tweeted, Sarah Brady is the real problem. Blaming Jonah Hill for causing you mental health problem because he told you his boundaries and gave you an option to leave if you didn't agree. She's the real problem and many other people just like her. I believe situations like this, Kiki Palmer and her baby daddy situation, is just trying to tell men can't have standards and boundaries no more. Because if you have standards and boundaries, you are considered a misogynist, a narcissist, abusive, emotionally abusive, and so on and on. So basically, as a man, you should allow your partner to do whatever she wants to do, even if it's disrespectful to you or the relationship. But hey, what do I know? Let me know what you think in the comments down below.